those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. So here's the question for SFT is, are you suggesting that their recombination rates were higher in the past? Okay, now here's the thing. The PRDM9 sites, uh, the, the papers that I was showing were the Africans, where they have more of those sites and they have uh, evidence for more recombination. They have more genetic diversity. And the evidence suggests, I'm pulling up the paper here. Here it is. PRDM9 controls activation of mammalian recombination hotspots. There's more hotspots in African people groups. That's why they have more genetic diversity. Now, here's the thing. Mutations actually break down those enzymes, those PRDM9 sites. That means in the past, you would have had more. And therefore, you would have had more recombination. More recombination means that that population can retain what? It can retain more genetic diversity. And this is right from the secular literature. I got four papers here that, that talk about it. So yeah, in the past, there would have been more recombination because you had more of the enzymes that help control recombination and activate those recombination hotspots. So I hope that answered the question. Good question, though. Really good question.